Hi grade fours, today we are doing unit 89, reading scales on page 155. Now reading off um, an amount in milliliters or liters off of a jug or any other kind of container is exactly like reading off a measurement on a ruler or a measuring tape. What I want you to note first of all is that there's a mistake in the textbook. As you can see, I made an arrow from here to there and from here to there. You can do that in gray pencil in your textbook as well. And so the reason for that is that this picture belongs with that information and that picture belongs with that information. If we look at this jug number B, um, there's two liters is the capacity of the jug. You can see there over there, the top me measurement uh, or the top line there is two liters. Then half full would be one liter and then obviously at the bottom would be zero. So those lines are just put out neatly for you over there. We have two liters and then we have one liter and then at the bottom would be zero. And there's five spaces between the zero and the one liter, which is a thousand milliliters. That means that each space will represent 200 milliliters because 200 times five gives you a thousand. And in that way, we can then determine what would the reading of the water in this jug be. If we count the lines 200, 200, 200 at a time, you'll get to a thousand when you get to the one liter mark and then it's another three lines up from there. So if you count from here, 1,200, 1,400, and then 1,600 milliliters is how much is in that jug. The same with number B over here. Um, it's the same um, type. It looks the same because it's also lines like that and it's also one liter and two liters but there are four spaces in between instead of five. So if we take a thousand milliliters and we divide it by four because there's four spaces, then we get 250 milliliters. So each space is representing 250 milliliters. So the first little line will be 250, then 500, then 750, then 1000, then 1250, and then 1,500 milliliters. That's another mistake in your textbook over there. I drew in the one, it said 500 mils, but it's supposed to be 1,500. And the same on this side, like that. So just fix that in your textbook for me. You can also look at the example over here. There's one liter, then there's a, another line, and then there's two liters. So we need to figure out what is halfway between one liter and two liter. It is one and a half liter. So it says here each space shows a thousand milliliters. That's wrong. It's supposed to be 500. So please fix that. So from here, if we count 500, it's 1,500 milliliters. And then 2,000 would be the next one. So that line would be... 1,500 milliliters or 1 liter and 500 milliliters. If we look at these scales over here, let me just show you some more examples. Um, this one starts at 0 and goes up to 100 milliliters. Let's count the spaces in between. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. Now if I take 100 and I divide it by 5, then I get 20. That means each space represents 20. So this line would be 20 milliliters, then 40 milliliters, 60, 80, and then 100. The next one starts with 0, then there's one space, two spaces, and then we get 200 milliliters, then there's another space and then it goes on. So that little line there shows that's where it starts at zero and the arrow there shows that it goes on. So if there's two spaces between zero and 200, 
I'm, I can say 200 divided by 2 because there's two spaces is 100. So that means this is 100 milliliters. That's 200 and the next one will be 300. Remember to write the units. I didn't write milliliters for all of them just because I don't have enough space. Okay, then if we look at the next one here, I wanted to show you that this one has an arrow to the left and to the right because this one doesn't start at zero. So if my line was like this and it started here with zero and it went on, it's almost as if this line here is just a part of it like this part of the line. Okay, so it doesn't start at zero. So it can go back and it can go on. Now over here we have five liters, then we have two spaces, oh, sorry, two lines, so it's one, two, three spaces, and then we have six and a half liters. Now what's the difference between five liters and six and a half liters? How much do I have to add to five to get to six and a half? We can say six and a half minus five, and that gives us one and a half liters. And there's three spaces. So if I have one and a half liters divided by the three spaces, it gives me a half because a half plus a half plus a half gives me one and a half. So five liters plus a half is five and a half liters plus another half liter is six liters and then the next is six and a half and it goes on from there. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Have a wonderful day and enjoy today's activity. Bye.